Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a nice cup of pomegranate juice. So, in the previous episode, we made the myth, the legend, the surprisingly efficient and maybe overpowered Prim. If we go over to Design and Fight and Airship Editor, we can open that thing and we can see what it is like. So, the total cost is 266 generic units of currency, and the idea um, was that we make something that's extremely basic, the most low fi, low tech thing we can. So, none of these things, as far as I can tell is using anything other than tier zero so it doesn't require like for, for example rifles it, it needs uh, rifling which is tier one we don't have any of that We've got two ballistas on the front, which are actually very, very good. Uh, we've got this uh, sail here. We've got a crow's nest on there. We've got four suspendium dust tanks, two small ammo stores, um, and a cockpit at the back. Obviously, we've got like things connected up and the supply hatches and berths. But basically, that's what we've made, and it's surprisingly effective. The only real downside to it is that its service ceiling is only, and I do stress only, 123 meters, which isn't actually bad, but it's the arc of fire on the ballistas. You can see they've got a 100 degree arc of fire, so fit from the centre, 50 up, 50 down. Um, and firing down, no problem, it just goes straight down and continues on that one, but up, you can see it levels off. So, we can't just fire straight up like that, and if we could, then this really wouldn't have much of a downside. And yes, these can be defeated very easily by things like fire, flamethrowers would rip these to shreds, any sort of fast ramming vessel would take them out, no problem whatsoever, any high level bombing, as we've seen, planes and hazards are going to cause this thing to have a lot of issues, but for the cost of it, 266, and how low tech it is, it's surprisingly good. And I don't think altering it any further would really be of any benefit. Yes, if we, say, added a little bit more onto the back of this, we could make it to nearly 160 meter service ceiling. But it also increases the cost to an unacceptable level. I think having these cheap and cheerful and spam them out is the way forward. However, if we had a bigger vessel on the same line, so we'll use ballistas, we'll use the suspendium tanks, we'll have the sails. Having that higher level is probably the way to go. So let's try that. Let's go to leave here, and yes we do, we'll go back to airship editor. You can clear it, but it just it keeps the name and it's a problem. Um, and let's start thinking about what we can make here. So I think we're going to use the same sort of things. So we'll use suspendium dust tanks, we'll use uh, sails and ballistas. But there's two main things that we need to focus on here. Firstly, it has to have a service ceiling of at least 150 metres, ideally close to 200. Secondly, we need somewhere to take out planes, because at the moment, we don't. So, if we go to weapons, um, we can see that we've got things like the aerial charges. Um, that would probably take them out. Um, I'll check over at, well, flak, obviously. Hmm... No. Too, too high tier. Tier 4. Flamethrower? Yeah. No. Uh, ram? No. Grape shot cannon? Tier 1. Grenades? Uh, no. Harpoon gun? No. Heavy cannons? No. Muskets, really. Muskets are simple firearms that can be quite effective en masse. Shoots down tops and planes within 20, uh, 42 meters. So, we're going to put muskets on it. Rifling... Uh, rifles require tier 1, but muskets do not require any technology. So that's what we will be using. So, let's crack on. First things first, we need to make the superstructure. Um, we will go for, in terms of this thing, um, perhaps, 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 we have, um, hmm, what do we want? Large suspendium dust tank? That wouldn't be unreasonable to... I don't think that would be unreasonable to have that. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. It is still tier zero, so that's fine. Let's have two of them for now. In terms of weapons, I tend to uh, build the... Where possible, anyway, build the vessel around the weapons. So let's do that. I don't know whether having a staggered fire arc is good. Because we know that anything down below there will be, you know... Um, something we can shoot at. Um, the question is, if we do that, do we want this up like so? Or do we want to stack it like that and make it quite tall? Um, I think neither of those options are something I want to go for. Maybe like that so it has like a bit of a chin on it. Um, or maybe we focus it the other way instead. 
like that. And have it so... Oh, I don't know, something like that. Have it fairly flat. It's a possibility. Is there, is there any reason why we couldn't just do that, though? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Um, this is why sponsons have really been a game changer, because you, if you want to stack a lot of weapons, this is really the only option. Um, I'm thinking that, just keeping it like that is probably the way forward. So, we'll go over to our resources and ammo store, and we want an ammo store connecting these up like so. I think that's probably acceptable. We are going to have a fire point in this one, whereas previously we hadn't had one. I think, because this is the capital ship, um, <laughs> not really, but you know what, that's as close as we're going to get it. Um, perhaps we should have that. Fire point doesn't require any um, technology that we don't have either, so that's fine, that's totally acceptable. Um, we're not cheating, trust me. Um, the problem is we have to get down here, and we can probably use, probably use berths again like that, and that worked last time. And just do that. Uh, crew is 24, recommended 16. The problem though, let me just double check. Um, they are HP 40, weight 15. Whereas if we use standard corridor with ladder, um, weight 4, HP 32. Um, and the cost is... Um, how much is the cost? Uh, corridor with ladder 7, berths are 17. So actually that is very inefficient. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We will use ladders like that. Okay, that's fine. Right, we're going to bring this over and I think we'll have them there and there. We want to have those like that and then a corridor running straight along. Um, in terms of propulsion, I haven't yet decided. Server ceiling is currently 205 meters. With the propulsion everything, it will be then close to what we originally envisaged. So perhaps that's a... Perhaps that's okay. The problem at the moment is that we don't have any um, any of the muskets to shoot down aircraft, which is what we originally said we were going to use. So we might have to redesign a bit of the front, but we'll get to that in but a moment. Uh, how do we get to that now? How do we get to this um, on the front, perhaps? Because mm, we can't stack them is the problem. Or, or, and this might be a bit of an insane thing to do, do I flip it and have muskets on the back? So if we are encountering aircraft, we spin round. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Maybe I should do, though. <laughs> Maybe I should be thinking it's a terrible idea. It doesn't seem too bad, though. Let's let's go with that. Why not? Huh, there's probably many reasons why, and I'm sure you'll point out in the comments, but still, let's go with that. Let's go with that, okay? So we want a small ammo store. We'll have two of those, like so. We're not going to put any um, point around there to stop it. Um, we want to have a repair bay, which we will put near the front, like so. Um, we want those to run up to there. And we want to have all of these connected up. It's 171 meter service ceiling. If we go over to propulsion, you can see there is a triple sail, which doesn't fit in with our plans, really. Um, it's also, it's far too, oh, speed 148. We don't really care about the speed so much. Um, what about three sails? Um, ah, you can't put three sails in because of the nature of the beast. I think, I think then a triple sail is the way to go. A triple sail, and then put another one of these in. Like that. Um, 175 meter service ceiling with decent speed, probably bringing us close to 150 meters when we go further down. That's not unreasonable, is it? Or is it? Um, I don't necessarily think it is. Or what we could do, if we wanted to, is use the suspendium, these suspendium tanks. Like so. Um, nah, because that even all of the all of those, as you can see, only uh, bring it to actually less than one of these. The advantage of those smaller ones is that if they get perforated, only one bit leaks rather than the entire one of that. So, 
it swings and roundabouts really. The other thing we could do is move this forward like so. Get rid of all of this and then just travel up that way. That's not really... I don't think that's a problem because we're using this triple sail and you only need one access to it. So that is acceptable. Like that, you see. Um, it's a bit of a problem around the back here, but still we're going to do that. And that. And that. Like so. That's connected up. Okay, that's fine. What we could also do is use crew. Hang on, it'll be under propulsion. Actually, while I'm here, before I forget, command and crew want a crow's nest right at the top. <laughs> and we do want a bridge. We're going to use a, a, a proper bridge for this one. And we'll put it about there. That should be fine. Um, bridge is tier zero as well. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me just double check, actually. Propulsion are the triple sails. Yeah, triple sails can confirm are tier zero. Okay, so that's fine. We want to have the command and crew uh, quarters. And we'll probably put quarters up here. So get rid of those. Command and crew. Um, or quarters, rather. One, two. Can't have that. That won't work. Um, that's a shame. Can have one there, though. That is acceptable. That is acceptable like that. That works. Okay. Um... Crew 12, minimum 22. Haven't finished off yet, though. We need uh, supply hatches, and it says we cannot give commands to the ship. Well, we can. We can, but it's just not... It's saying we can't because we haven't connected these up. Now it works. There you go. Can I give commands to ship? Cause, oh, because there's no one on the bridge, probably. That's all it was. Recommended crew 36. I think one more would be acceptable. Um, it's a shame we can't use those. It's a shame. It's a shame. Crying shame. Um, is there anywhere else we can put these? There's no ladder up there. There's no ladder up on that one. Oh, actually, though, we can remove that and we can pull those forward. Aha! So we can fit another one in there. Excellent. Right. So we've got this little gap of two, which means two supply hatches. <gasps> That's it. Technically, that works. Okay. It's also garbage for a couple of reasons. Firstly, if we get boarded, we are absolutely screwed. So that's not something we want to uh, have to deal with. So I'm going to go over to the targeting computer and put some height... <laughs> <laughs> High technology. We haven't got a sick bear either. Um, do I want a sick bear? Ideally, I do. So I'm going to remove those quarters and I'm going to put a sick bear in there. Uh, oh, these quarters can then be fitted elsewhere. Although I think what I'm going to do is get rid of those supply hatches and place them on the chin like that. Okay, and then we can simply connect these bits up with some basic corridor like that and then we are still well under pointed which I will then use probably the berths and that puts us well over crude so we don't want that also berths are very inefficient very inefficient but then we've got this big gap and what do we fill it with well technically we don't need to fill it with anything um we could just leave it don't like the idea of that, though. Doesn't sit well. Um, do we just want another one like that? That is a possibility. And then what I could do is have... Um, guard post. Nobody's there because we don't have guard barracks. We need a guard barracks, you see. Ah, but, ah the advantage, perfect, is a guard barracks is T0 and it has a ladder going up. Excellent. Excellent. So where where are those stationed then? So they'll be stationed in and around there anyway. Unless we place... No, that's okay. Um, i trying to think the best way of dealing with this is... Two of those like so...
although we're starting to edge on the expensive side of things now. We also don't have enough crew. That's fine. What instead? If, what would happen if we used? I wonder what aircraft tiers are. Four, four, two, five, three. What a surprise! Um, <laughs> right. Um, births then. For three of those, it's one thousand one hundred thirty-two. However, if I just use a quarters, one thousand one hundred twenty-seven. That's what we're going to use then. We're going to use one of those. Um, right, instead I'll take that out. Ah, damn it, I can't. What I was going to do is remove that and put that there. And then have that in there. But as you can see, it doesn't have a ladder going up. So it is not acceptable. So we will put that back in there. Um... where I can shift that forward. I don't think there is. Is there another place better for this to go? don't think that's unreasonable to say putting it there is better. Like that. It might be better. Um, okay, we'll do that. And then over to supply. 1,130. It's going to pro probably land around the 1,200 mark. Which is still cheap. Um, I think, anyway. Oh yeah, big stained glass windows if you want a big stained glass window. <laughs> what tier is it? It isn't a tier, actually. What? it look cool. Oh, look at that one. It's like a cathedral window type thing. Huh. Do you really want to put stained glass windows in like that? Hmm... They're not terribly expensive. We might. We might. Um, a deck. Oh, yeah. Moved high speeds, but offer no protection, so you can put that in there. <laughs> um, is there any reason to put them in? I don't think there is. Other than you can go up. Hmm. Don't like it. No point in it. Okay. Um... We will get rid of those for now. For now, I think we might come back to those. Uh, we'll have our wooden car, or wooden hatch. So, um, two of those. We want ideally two guard posts there. So if the board there, they have to come up past the guard posts. Ah, oh, that's the problem. It's past the guard posts. Um, to be fair, they should go out and attack. But I don't know if that's the case. You know what? Just to make it less risky. Why don't I just do that? Guard post. Two of those. <laughs> no reason why we can't. Okay. So we'll just have then... Filler block. Right, okay. And a bit of stained glass. Okay, so it's ugly as sin, but we didn't really expect much less. Um, let's try and put some shapes on it. Put some shapes on it. As long as, well, assuming, however, it's not terribly expensive. I see that is terribly expensive. You know what then? Let's just stick with our angles. One, two, three. Like that. Or do we want curves? I think perhaps the rounded corner is a bit better. Hmm. We do get one more meter service ceiling if we don't use them. <laughs> um, they also cost, and if we put them on, it does go over our budget. We're already over our budget. We already said the budgeting 
around about a grand, but it's uh, 1,200, which is still not, you know, it's not exactly completely annihilated the budget, is it? But, uh, oh, just some little pipes, maybe? Make it a little bit different? No, because that, that's too, we wanted to make it like a, like a wooden galleon type thing. Um... Wait, three. That's five over, if we did that. There we go, that'll do us. Right, armour is exactly what we have it as. Uh, stained glass in the middle of nowhere. Um, painting, nothing. Decoration, uh, wooden nameplate. We'll have a large wooden one right in the centre there, mainly because it lines up. So it's bang on, 1,200 generic units of currency. No coal, decent ammo, service ceiling 150 metres, speed decent, crew 36, recommended 38. That is fine. Command every seven seconds. It could still do with being able to go higher up. But, let's see how we get on with it. So, um, we've got the prim. Um, we're going to call it the basic. So, let's save the design. And let's see what this is like. Combat, open, uh, well, we'll say day, airship, uh, the basic, and... Boom, there it is. It looks terrible. Airship, what is around the 1,200 mark? Um, nothing. We'll put it against the sterling. The sterling is 1,475. We've got 1,200. We're going to move it back here. And we will start the fight. We'll put that on aimed fire. And we'll see what it does. So it's going to come down, as you can see. Uh, we are firing out. Uh, good shots. Um, it is... However, going to go right below us. I am, however, going to use my speed and also <laughs> the shots on the back. As we're going past, we're still shooting. We're still shooting. We'll flip around. And then, oh, look, more shots whizzing out. Excellent. And that's where we don't want it to sit. Firing from the back. That's good. And... Then we'll whiz around. Okay. We're going to have a problem here because it's going to constantly do that. That's what I was afraid of. So it's actually outmaneuvering us. Um, okay. I have a plan. M for movement. Over here. Go. Unpause it. And we'll let it shoot us a bit. You see we're firing with them muskets from the back. Which, yeah. When we're running away, we're just sort of... Plinking. I'm going to say go down to there. And flip. We've actually gone too far down now. And it's going to go right over the top of us. So basically it's a pilot error here. Um, there we go. But the muskets are still shooting. See, not having all of the weapons on the front is actually our advantage here. Right, I'm just going to try and... I'm just going to try and uh, deal with it. Oh, that's bad. We have lost... Some of our suspendium. That could be that could be game over that. Oh no, it's not. It is not game over. Not by a long shot. However, it is outmaneuvering me all the time. Yeah, I think now it's game over. We've lost another suspendium tank. I'm gonna try and move up. Uh, look at that. Focus on the suspendium. Yeah, it's a loss. It's a loss. Okay, I don't think that was um a terrible one. I just think we didn't manage to maneuver it properly. When I say we, I mean I. Okay, let's try that again. Like, actually, let's try that exactly again. Basic. Bumpf. Say there. Airship. The... Where is it? The Sterling. Start. Aim and fire once again. Okay, it's uh, firing. I'm going to move down. Oh, why did it do that? Did you see it back right up and then stopped and not hit the rock? That screwed me right over. Okay, I'm going to say ramp to there. If it gets in the way, it gets in the way. Nope, it's not getting in the way now. <laughs> um, to be fair, the best way of me winning this is just to um, to do this. <laughs> um, I'm going to crush it. 
Mm, I say the best way of win. I don't think that's actually the true. I think I'm going to lose now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. That's where we want to keep it. Ah, it's just too manoeuvrable for us. Okay. I think another. I think another pilot error caused that. I'll try that once more. Airship, the basic. Put it right dead center. Airship, Sterling. Start. See, I need to counter it. Like that. But how can it just sail over the top? It, it has the same bridge as me. So I don't know why it's able to um, do that. There we go. Well, we need to use height to our advantage, don't we? We can go higher than it can. But if it goes like that, it's got a better arc of fire. Which is the main cause of our issues here. But we can skip past it like so. Still keep firing, and then flip round and give it a volley. Like so. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And do we just keep doing that? Hang on, why is it not moved? Move to there and flip. There we go. It's able to keep up. And there's some good shots again. And once again, move there and flip. Although I have messed it up because it's going to stop there. But we should be able to issue orders before this. And we'll just keep backing up. Like that. There we go. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's better. And it's on fire now. But I am going to lose some suspendium. There we go. Keep an arc. Keep an arc. It's currently not too bothered about uh, firing. There we go. Now it is. Now it is. And is it going to try and get above us? It is going to try and get above us. And it will successfully do so. However, we can back up and use the rock to our advantage. There we go. Going to put on aimed fire. The AI must know where I've issued my orders to. Because there's no way you'd be able to specifically get to a set, like, a st end like that. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I think that might be us. I think that might be us. Yeah, we've, took, we've taken out a suspendium chamber. Uh, we are on fire, but we have water as well. Yeah, that's a win. Only just... <laughs> uh, two out... Oh, one out of three ain't bad, I guess. But that's a win. Rapid fire. And remember, it's, it's 200 odd points over. So we'd have a... We'd have a prim for this. So. That's an advantage. It's just a bit of a... More of a difficult beast to manoeuvre. Especially when you've only got one-on-one. -on -one and that thing's obviously a lot lower profile. It has a lot better arc of fire. But we looked out. We hit the right thing. And there we go. It can be done. It can be done. And if we manage to win against that, then that's a good sign. Okay, we'll try that again. Um, another night, uh, a snow fight, I think. So airship, we are going to fight against the, well, we'll have a fight against the Necrosis. This is the carrier once again. And let's see if we can fight that. Airship. We're going to have the, the basic. One, two, flip, three, four. 1,000, sorry, 4,800 versus 4,975. So they're still overpointed. They still have more points than me. However, we also have the advantage that um, we can hopefully shoot down them aircraft when they go past, which they are. All right. I'm going to move back to... I'm just going to flip round. If, if, they're, if they're honestly doing that, then I'm just going to flip round and shoot... Them. Shoot the front out of it. Uh, rapid fire, I think. Move a bit closer. Move closer. Um, their planes are not being taken out. Oh, there we go. He says, just as one comes crashing down. We've lost one basic. But we are doing alright here, I think. 
Oh, damn it. Just as I go over the top, I lose the pit that I didn't want. But, to be fair, we are forcing them down to the ground now. So when the planes go past us... There we go. They go past, and... I think they just took their own thing out there. When they go past, the back cannons fire. The muskets, and there you go. Look, it gets taken out. I wasn't entirely confident about the... Uh, about the rear guns, but it's it's made it so it's not higher profile as it otherwise would have been. And the advantage when stuff flies past, it gets shot. So there we go. Happy about that, very happy. And again, underpointed. Hmm. Some changes could be made, obviously. The problem is actually the cheapness, is that if you're versing something terribly expensive, you're going to have to spam so many, it's going to be a problem. But... Doesn't seem to be a terrible thing. Um, I'm just going to fly out there and spin around. Glory belongs to us, we are victorious. Yes, we are. Actually running out of ammo for the first time. In terms of ammo, I'm fairly happy. Um, this is a, a fairly long engagement and we're only just starting to to run out there. I'll put them on aim fire and make sure we hit our targets, you see. Obviously we did switch these to rapid fire. So, look at that, they're still going. <laughs> this one here, can't fly, can't move, but still got three ballistas and a big ammo store. So we're just chiseling, chiseling it down. Oh, there you go. There's another victory. Okay, one more fight, I think. So we'll have a, um, a dawn fight. We'll add airship, and we're going to put in the Excalibur. It is stupidly expensive, and quite frankly, it's got everything you can imagine on it. So, in no particular order, big flamethrower, two rockets, lots of aerial hussars, three bombers, two biplanes, uh, flak, uh, they're machine guns, I believe, Gatling guns. Um, we've got, is that a rifle there? No, sorry, that's a spotting scope, I believe. Three heavy cannon. I mean, <laughs> oh, sorry, and two torpedo launchers. It's big. It's very big, isn't it? Right, add airship. The basic. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my good grief. Six, seven, it nine. All right, we need a couple more things now. You know what I'm gonna do? Add airship base. Uh, we'll go prims. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1,600, uh, oh, one more, probably another one more, one more. 1,000, uh, sorry, 16,386 versus 16,475. They still have the points advantage. We have the, I think, I think we have the swarm advantage, would you say? <laughs> um, put a, put a dark cube, I don't think, no, I, I don't think it's strictly necessary. Okay, um, start, pause. These immediately move. Move to there. Actually, no. Ram to there. And then flip. Go. And immediately we are taking out just by sheer force of... <laughs> by sheer force of um, numbers, we are taking out most of that ship. Move forward. Keep the pace up. Keep the pace up. Um, we're decimating them. The aerial hazards are causing us some amount of issues. And the problem that we have, as well, is that the back guns are not getting in. Because, there we go, now the bombers are... 
because the bombers are just attacking the one right at the front, you see. So if we move forward like this, um, then we should be better off. And this is this is insane. It's it's almost impossible to command in any real form. But look at the sh look at the damage. <laughs> um, I think that's going to require some time and dry dock. Their aerial hazards are still over there fighting away. But quite frankly, there's not going to be much left of them. Right, back ones, him fire, all these. Um, him to fire. That one can move to there and flip. That one can move to there and flip. Those can come down a little bit. Oh, I can't. Those have to go to there, that have to go to there. Um, yeah, there's, there's no competition whatsoever. I mean, we've lost what? That, that's that been damaged. A couple of these have been damaged. These are running out of ammo. Um, that's factory fresh, factory fresh, factory fresh, factory fresh, factory fresh, factory fresh. Near as damn it, factory fresh. And yeah, that one's fine as well. We've cut it in half. Um, they've got no offensive armament whatsoever on their ships. They are completely out of command. Um, they are burning from stem to stern. And the only thing keeping them in the fight is the aerial hazards, which will probably not last much longer when I bring this right down and spin them round to get these back guns in. Which you can see, um, aerial hazards are getting damaged. I will flip this one round. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on, what is going on there? I think I might have double clicked and ordered them, <laughs> and ordered them all to charge forward. Um, I think that's exactly what happened, but it matters not. There we go. So, the basics. As you can see, every single basic survived. <laughs> we didn't lose one. In terms of the prims, um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. Nine were either. Well, were, were taken out uh, via either immobilization, destruction, or no crew quarters. Uh, that was twelve of those, and nine survived. Excalibur, apparently no crew quarters, but I think they've got bigger issues than that. It worked. What we made worked. We are still. Obviously, um, very susceptible to higher level bombing, but that's just the nature of the beast, that I don't have flak, I don't have anything to chase after the bomber, however, I've got 150 meters service ceiling. So, you know, it's going to have to be quite a high level one to get it. Um, and that's always the case. If the, you know, if that, In that very specific circumstance, these things are useless. Although they do have the, the rifles on the back which shoot up at an angle. But I don't think that's going to do much. I think just one pass on this with the bomber, it'll take these out and it'll just be all over. But, these work. I'm very surprised. Again. <laughs> very surprised again. That's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. That has been the basic. And I think that's two for two on fairly useful designs. Honestly, in a campaign, I'd build those straight away. I wouldn't even bother attempting to get like tier one stuff. I'd just... I'd probably just spam loads of them, lo spam loads of the prims, get them sent out, take over some stuff, and then build a couple of the bigger ones. And I think with that initial initial push, I think um, they'd be hard to slow down, especially if you don't come across people who are uh, able to specifically deal with that. Boarding is obviously always a problem, uh, and high-level bombing. But other than that, hmm, I don't know. You've just got, they're so cheap, they're just the weight of numbers, that's all it is. Either way, I've enjoyed building them, and hope you've, uh, what, I hope you've enjoyed, and... Uh, Enjoyed watching it and watching it come together and watching the fights. So uh, if you have any designs and queries and things you want to see, then by all means let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.